how to speed up your internet to get lower ping while gaming and faster download speeds on the Epic Games Store and on the Steam Store. If it does help, please drop a like and subscribe for more. Now let's begin with the basics. So upgrading your broadband package directly from your ISP is the best way to get higher speeds as you'll receive a much better pipeline with the more money you do spend. In addition, you can also upgrade your router to a better one to get extra benefits such as improved range and modern multi-device handling. Then next from that, I recommend you switch from a Wi-Fi connection directly to a Ethernet connection. Any of these Ethernet cables will do great, as this will ensure a much more stable connection without any interference. Oh, and try avoiding too many devices on your network at once, because you want to keep the congestion at a minimum. This isn't as important as the last two, but it's something to keep in mind. Moving on from that to more advanced tips, if you write Right click on the Windows icon and head into Network Connections, then scroll down to Advanced Network Settings and select your main network adapter, so mine is my Ethernet cable here. Under where it says More Adapter Options, click Edit. In here you want to go under Internet Protocol version 4 or IPv4 and ensure this is checked. An additional optimization you can do is to uncheck everything but the first one and the IPv4. However, like I mentioned, that is optional as some of you may actually use these protocols, so I'm a Myself, I'll just like to leave it on default. But once you've ensured this is checked, you want to go into properties. And inside here is where you can set up a custom DNS address. Now there is two popular ones, that's the Google one and the Cloudflare one. To find out which one's best for you, open up your command prompt. Inside here, type in ping followed by the DNS. So if I do Google's that 8.8.8.8 and press enter, this will go ahead and find out what my average ping is for it, which is 21 ms. I can then do the same to Cloudflare which is 1.1.1.1 and that'll do the same sort of scan and check what my average ping is and it is slightly higher so I myself would go with the Google one. In addition to that you can actually Google a program called DNS Benchmark and download it and basically if you run this it'll scan for all the DNS servers and find out which DNS is the best one for you. For myself I believe the Google one is the best one for me so I'm going to go ahead and put that in just like so then press OK and after that I like to go into my device manager under where it says network adapters and find my specific ethernet cable or controller and it's really important for this one you find out what your brand is so mine is Intel from there you want to go into Google and type in whatever brand you've got then network driver followed by your operating system and this should find a website that has the latest driver for your network adapter which is what you then want to download and install an alternative way to do this is to actually right click on it and update the driver like so but once you've got the latest driver installed you are all good to go. We can now head back into the advanced network settings but this time if you go under edit then this time click on that configure button. We firstly want to go under power management and uncheck both of these power saving options right here. Make sure to actually uncheck the second one first followed by the first one and after you have unchecked both of those you can go into advanced. Inside here the following settings I am going to change can improve your throughput performance but they are optional. If for some reason they do have a negative impact on you you can just revert them back to default. I'm starting off with all the default settings. So for the first one here that's the ARP offload or rather all the offload settings I like to go ahead and disable them. As for flow control I know this does sound kind of like counterintuitive but I've read that the TCP itself has its own built-in flow control mechanism. So what I like to do is go ahead and disable this setting. Scrolling down we've got another offload setting like I mentioned before I like to disable all of these. A jumbo packet ensure that's disabled I believe it is by default. Under that we've got some more uh, offload settings I like to go ahead and disable. There's another one here that's NS offload, get that disabled. And scrolling down we've got some more offload settings, get all of these disabled like so. Got the last one right there, disable that. And finally for these wake on settings I like to go ahead and disable all of these. But like I mentioned guys these are optional. If for some reason you do have like any sort of negative effects go ahead and set them back to default, it's that easy to fix it. But you may be surprised at how good these optimizations are. Next up from that, I like to go into my apps, under where it says installed apps, and inside here I like to go through all the apps I barely use and make sure to turn off their background application use, as they may be taking up a lot of bandwidth in the background without me knowing. So for Microsoft Copilot right here, I barely use that. I like to open it up, go into advanced options, and where it says background apps permission, by default it's power optimized, I like to go ahead and select 
like never and this basically ensures that it is not running in the background and you can do the same thing with any other application that might be running in the background just go into the background apps and click never next i like to run some sort of security on my pc so it can be windows security which is free and comes with like every windows operating system you can literally just click into virus and threat protection but you can see that i'm actually using malware bytes which isn't sponsored or anything like that i just do believe this is the best one and it's one that i prefer but you can use anything you want but essentially when we do scan either one of these softwares or any one of your choice we're actually looking for spyware trojans and like other things that can be running in the background without your knowledge which can one like drastically slow down your pc and most of all it can actually like sort of siphon your bandwidth and slow that down like massively and what this will do is it'll go through scan for all of them and basically remove them or quarantine them so it's something you can do just literally google antivirus software or anti-malware software have a look get one and run a scan you may be surprised at what it does actually find moving on to the bonus tips this one's for epic games if you go inside your percentage sign local update a percentage sign folder then under the epic games launcher and follow exactly where i'm going here through all of these files so you find that engine file right there if you open it it may be empty or it might have some random text just delete any text if it's in there and you want to paste in this right here which i will have in the description below after that click save and that should drastically improve your download speeds in the epic games launcher which epic games themselves even recommend by the way next from that we've got one for steam so firstly you want to open it up then if you go to the top left corner click on it and go down to settings in the download section right here you firstly want to ensure that your download region is on the location that's most close to you so if i scroll down here and go under uk you'll see that there's very limited options you've got either london or manchester and i'm obviously going to go with the one that's closer to me in the northeast which is manchester down from that you've got limit download speed make sure that is disabled schedule auto update is optional it's up to you same with allow downloads during gameplay it's optional and up to you throttle downloads while streaming i like to have this turned on but it's optional and display download rate in bits per second i think is a good one to have i like to have that enabled as well scrolling down you've got this clear download cache option which a lot of people do recommend doing however if you do do this make sure you are not currently downloading anything Thing, as this will cancel your download so do keep that in mind but it is a good thing to do as for the rest of the sentence just copy what i've got i like this one enabled i like this on only me and the shader pre cushion i like the first one enabled and the second one disabled but that right there was the best sentence to speed up your internet before you go feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now